I'm excited to see some Vikings. Mm -hmm. I'm just watching dogs. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So we learned from the last trip, uh, you gotta get your Starbucks first before you get too far along. So yes. we uh, we have a cool episode, uh, well, hopefully for you guys today. We're gonna see how the weather turns out. It's another windy day, but we are on the road to uh, York and they have a Viking festival. So it's kind of like the SEAL trip that we took. Um, there are certain things that happen throughout the year that you gotta go to. And we wanted to go last year, it just didn't work out timing, so. Uh, we packed up the car early this morning and uh, hit the road. What was it, about like 7, 7.30 or so? so Kyle um, couldn't find his hat. Yeah, I don't know. A little struggle in the morning getting out. <laughs> um, but it's like three hours and some change, like just over three hours. And a lot of the stuff starts off about 11. And then we're going to stay, I think, until about 3-ish and then head back. So we got a couple hours to explore the town. Um, they're gonna have like a parade today. Uh, they're going through the town and a lot of people dressed up We're actually in the Starbucks parking lot uh, and Chelsea pointed out there was somebody dressed up behind us um, So obviously heading into town hopefully or maybe yeah. that's just their normal day-to-day -day yeah. wear Kyle had to give me a history lesson on Vikings. I didn't really under yeah, I, I just thought it was like a fictional or like a yeah, I don't know. She's never watched the TV show, too. No, so that's I've another seen one. parts. I don't think I, I was like we got to get into that because she was a Game of Thrones fan, so um, but again, just something different. We're gonna head up and uh, try and check out some of the crafts that they do. They have a couple of demonstrations and uh, reenactments, some fight scenes going on. So I don't know, we'll yeah. see, so. And other exciting news, I felt the baby kick. Oh yeah, she's told me yeah. yesterday. I think that's what it was. It's funny because the doctors <laughs> describe it as like having gas. So they're like, it's gonna be like bubbles or whatever. Yeah. And she was like, I think this is what it is. And I was like, well, hopefully you don't wanna yeah. have a bunch of gas in your, uh, your class there. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and hit the road again I'm gonna flip the camera around we'll do a little shot of getting into the town of York um, and we're also using the just park app so that's an app that I talked about when I was up at um, Lincoln and then also we used in Edinburgh so we found a cool lot that's behind a church and easy place to park the uh, Jeep so we don't have to worry about a parking garage we're excited to show you guys hopefully it's cool uh, I think the goal for today is gonna be finding something unique Viking related um, maybe a battle axe or something. I don't know. We'll see. He already has a sword. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. Something about the way you bounce makes me want to keep you around my mind. My, my, my. All right, we made it here. That was pretty stressful. So the road that we had to turn on to get to this church was like a pathway, like a sidewalk. It did not look like a street. So we kept passing the church. The church is directly behind us and I'll, when we get out, I'll show you guys. But we're here, it's almost 11. So we gotta get there because there's a couple events starting uh, about 11.30 noon. And uh, we only got a couple hours up here. So let's go find some Vikings. A little bit windy. So we made it inside. Chelsea said she doesn't want to be on camera right now, but we got into some weather. I've got the big camera here, but I've also got the GoPro right on my backpack. So I'm gonna use that as we walk around here. Just a bunch of like uh, handmade crafts and stuff like that. So we're getting in from the weather. We're gonna walk around, see if we can find some cool items. Um, yeah, and we'll get back outside. Hey, 
Hi. Can I do a taste of the Odin's mead? The Odin, yeah. Thank you. So it's, we've tannin this one, so it's a bit, it suits red wine real ale whiskey drinkers. Oh wow, that's cool. That's good. Yes, uh, backpack's fine. Right, okay. Thanks. That's 20 pounds, please. <laughs> Hold on, do you want I'm your good. receipts? No, thank you. No? Thanks okay, so much. Thanks a lot. Enjoy thanks. your day. Thank you. Those are really pretty. Look at those, like the pictures. Mm -hmm. Sun's out again. Yeah. It is like overcast, but it doesn't look like it's gonna pour again. All right, so we got through the market. It was super crowded. It was like shoulder to shoulder. So hopefully you guys saw from the GoPro, we'll go through it. But I got some mead, uh, that was pretty cool. And then got some uh, ale horns. And then uh, I got an ax, uh, found one on the way out, but I'll have to show you guys later. Don't really wanna walk around the city with this thing and uh, they said it's sharp. So I got a peek up at the road uh, that we walked in on and there's a whole bunch of stuff uh, straight ahead. So we're gonna keep going, check it out. I don't think uh, this is Chelsea's favorite day, but I'm thankful that uh, she let me drive up here and check this out. This is really fun. Okay, so we took a break. We're at Five Guys right now. Chelsea found this and it was like in the corner of a street because we were looking at like something quick. It's currently 12.40 and at 1.30 they're gonna do a, um, it's an exit parade, but it's really a march through the town. They're gonna start at York Minster. It's a beautiful, beautiful church. So I'll show you a clip of that real quick. But we're gonna grab our burgers, um, got a bunch of fries too, and uh, warm up a little bit. It's definitely windy out there. Get back out on the street and then we're just gonna watch them do the parade through the town here. So, we're hoping the uh, rain holds out for us because it looks like we might get some rain. But... Kyle owes me big time. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go find a spot in the street. Well, I feel it. What? I felt the drop. The rain? Yeah, so if the rain picks up, then we'll just do just GoPro. But uh, we're going to try and find a spot in the street and then uh, watch it from there. I'm excited to see some Vikings. Mm -hmm. I'm just watching dogs. <laughs>
colours are flying good. All right, so that was the parade. That was really cool. Definitely, I think, worth coming down here. It was fun seeing everybody get into character, and they were really good with the kids, too. So there were a lot of kids that were dressed up, and they uh, just wanted to, like, interact with them, and I don't know, it kind of felt like Disney for a minute, like, where you're just in the middle of, like, a, a show that's going on. But still, beautiful church behind us. Um, really cool city. We gotta come back when the sun's out, and uh, I don't know, Chelsea's ready to find a beach or something warm. But uh, that was cool, fun Viking festival. We're gonna walk back to the car now and then uh, just pack it up and take the three hours back home. But... All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Made it back to the house and I just wanna show you some of the stuff that we got real quick. I think you saw uh, clips of it as we were going through the market, but starting off with Odin's Mead. I got to try some there, it was really, really good. So I might have to save this bottle for a special occasion. Um, I also got an ale horn and it has like a little clip or a leather loop on it for your belt. Um, that was pretty neat. Saw a lot of those as people were walking around in the streets. And then uh, finally, this was my goal. I got my battle axe. So this thing is beautiful. It's got a uh, wolf engraved into the top of it and it's a uh, sharpened blade too. So that's one I had to definitely keep in my backpack as we were running around. Chelsea gave in and uh, let me purchase that when I found it. It was just, it was too cool to pass up. Definitely something that you gotta get from a Viking fest when you're visiting. So uh, we had a lot of fun in the city. It was neat running around, cold and windy day, but overall the temps weren't too bad. So I was proud of Chelsea for uh, braving the elements there and trying something new and just experiencing a uh, different part of England there. So. Uh, we also wanted to reach out and say thank you so much to all the subscribers. We recently hit 500, which is just incredible for the channel. So something starting as small as trying to capture our move to England, and uh, now we're just growing and growing uh, with each video that we post. Thank you so much for watching these videos and sticking with us as we do these adventures. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button down below, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.